So hi everybody and welcome back. What we have here today is the ZMR 180 frame by FPV model, which is really nice. Everything comes nicely packaged in this blue foil. I have already unpackaged the, the bottom plate and will do the same now for the top plate here. So let's take a look at this. So here is the top plate and then we have the camera mount here. Which we unpack as well. <coughs> so this comes with the bottom plate, the uh, top plate and of course the camera mount which usually goes in between here. We will take a look at this in a bit. Then it comes uh, with the uh, standoffs here in red with all the screws you need to put together this frame. <coughs> Plastic standoffs as well which you will need to mount the PDP which we can see here. So that's uh, the Matic PDP which uh, provides 5 volts and 12 volts. I will show it to you here up close. So this is the Matic PDP which provides 5 volts and 12 volts and is also very lightweight. So let's also unbox this here in order to see, have the complete picture. So again here, this is the PDP. So you can take a look at this. Looks really nice. I'm looking forward to, to work with that. On the back it says Matex Systems Mini Power Hub. And again says the specifications which you can read here. But now let's go back to the frame itself. As you can see, this uh, bottom plate has the arms uh, integrated, which of course means if you break an arm, you will have to uh, uh, change the whole bottom plate. But I don't think it's very uh, easy to break this arm. If you take a look here, you can see that this is uh, a three millimeter bottom plate. So it's, it's, it's pretty nice. So I don't think you will have an easy way to break this. Also, I can show it to you here. The quality of the carbon fiber is really nice. So this is really top quality, which you can see here. This is, this is really nice. I really like this. And then let's take a look at the top plate here. As you can see, you have the uh, usually left out for the for the mounting of the of the camera plate which comes here or if you want to mount a vibration dampeners for your cam this is also already prepared here and what we always want to do as well is of course check the carbon fiber of this to see if this is good carbon fiber I don't think <laughs> there is any problems since this comes from FPV model, but yes, you can see it here. So the resistance is zero. So that means that this really nice carbon fiber here. Let's also check this for the top plate. And again, you can see it on the, on the multimeter. This is real carbon fiber. And of course also the camera plate and even that is true carbon fiber. So this is really, really, really nice. What do we do next? We will take a look at the weight of this, of the, of the, of the, of these uh, components. So let's put this here. So we can see the bottom plate is probably the, the, the uh, 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 most heavy part of it, if you can say this, it comes in at 49 grams. Then if we add this camera plate, 
well this adds a single gram two grams 51 grams and then we have the top plate which means it's at 63 grams and then we of course have all this mounting stuff and of course these standoffs here so let's put them there as well it's two four six that's right so with these we are at 71 grams and if you like you can of course uh, also add this uh, screws and plastic standoffs but you we will not need all of this so this will be a bit more than it will actually wait when we put this together so we are here at 86 grams and in addition the PDP and we arrive at 93 grams so that is not bad at all this is a really nice weight for this so what will we do next next we will put this together loosely just to be able to show you what it looks like Okay, so we have quickly put it together here for you as you could just see in the in the time-lapse video something really nice which I just didn't notice before is that this already comes with a tilted camera mounting plate so this is built in this is really nice you can see it here we'll just take a, a close-up of that because I really like it so this is already built in you have quite an angle here already built in to fly but this is really nice and as you can see again the finish of this is really nice I really like it and now we can take again a look at the weight of this so let's put it back down here and so this is really nice I'm really looking forward to this and we can take a look at the weight of this of course now that we have put it together and we arrive at 76 grams so this is really nice this is a really lightweight frame a 180 size frame uh, one more thing i want to show you today is the actual size of this in comparison to the satam r250 which you can see here on the left so that's the satam r250 which you can see here on the left and compared to this here we have the Satam R180 uh, so as you can see that's quite a bit smaller right that is really nice I'm really looking forward to this and again I have to say the build quality of this is really nice so that's great I will build this one up and of course do a full build video and build review for you and of course the maiden flight once I'm finished well really nice can't wait if you also can't wait please subscribe to my channel please leave a thumbs up and I would love to have you here for the next video as well, well thank you very much and see you soon